What's going on everybody? It is Wild Willie and today we are back on Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. It's been a while since I uploaded Cabela's so we went ahead and we jumped on it and we actually have two pro hunts we're going to go ahead and jump right into. But first we are going to go ahead and go after Double Shovel and we have to use our recurve bow and we are taking along our 600 grain broadheads. So this is the first pro hunt of the episode so Let's go ahead and jump right on into it, and I don't think we set a time, so we don't have to worry about the starting time or anything else. So let's go ahead and fire up the hunt and see if we can't get double shovel down. We've been tracking a small herd of caribou not far from here. The herd bull in charge is called double shovel around these parts. He's yours if you can take him. He lives up to his name, too. Rack like a snow plow. Getting a shot at him won't be easy. Caribou are always on the move, and they usually travel in large numbers. You're going to need patience, smarts, and good timing to get a good shot at Double Shovel. We've picked out a pinch point by a river where we've seen other herds cross. If you dog it too long, though, you're going to miss your chance. The setup here is real simple. Get to that rock overlooking the river before the herd passes through. Easier said than done, right? Stick to cover as much as possible and watch your step. These caribou are skittish animals. Anything that sounds or smells out of place can set them off. The wind's at your back. That's going to make your approach tricky, but there's not much you can do about it now. It's only a matter of time before that herd catches your scent. You need to bring down double shovel before somebody sounds the alarm. Good luck! All right, you guys heard them, so we got to make our way over to this tripod stand over here, and our wind is blowing right towards the direction where we are headed, so we definitely want to stay nice and crouched and keep our uh, eyes on this herd to make sure that it doesn't turn red, which a red uh, vocal type deal, sound effect doohickey thing, as you can see, it's white, but that means that they are spooked, so not too sure what to call that, so we'll just go with what we said. But anyways, we are crouched right now. We're kind of hanging out behind these rocks. And as you can see, they, they're uh, stomping around, moving around, calling. And they're not spooked yet. So that's always a, a real, real good observation to keep in mind. So definitely want to pay attention to that. Always double checking our wind. And I believe that uh, green footstep is actually double shovel. So he's still a little ways out from what it says on our compass up in the very top right above us. So we're definitely going to speed up our pace right here because we definitely want to uh -oh, get to this tripod alert. stand red alert there ain't nothing red what is she talking about what you talking about Willis alrighty so there's the herd right over here and doesn't look like they've moved so not too sure what's going on with that but we're almost to this tripod stand, so it looks like we're gonna have to shoot them. Now find your target. You don't have much time. Find Stay my target. Now, don't release until you know it's a sure shot. Oh, I won't release. Don't worry. But find my target. I don't even see anything yet, woman. But we're in the tripod stand, so we're kind of. So our shot's definitely gonna be a walking shot right there. So looks like maybe 30, 40 yard shot. So. Hopefully he stops. I mean, if not, we're going to go ahead and have to lead him and hope for the best. I mean, definitely want to get a double lung or at least a spine shot on double shovel. From what they're saying, he's a big bull, but we'll go ahead and find out for ourselves when he comes in. So nothing come out in front of us yet, but we're just going to go ahead and hang out here and just look around, I guess. Oh, here they come right there. Oh, there's double shovel, and he's an awesome bull. Wow. So they weren't kidding when he said he was big. That's a real good sized bull right there. But he's got that darn female walking right in front of him. So you know what? We're going to take a walking shot. So let's go ahead and lead him. Let's get our breath held. So let's go ahead and take a shot. Oh! Hopefully we let him enough. Right, it looked high. Come on, give me a shot. Oh, is that going to be a neck? Oh, yes, we got a neck shot on him. That was awesome. He's going to drop right in his doing. tracks. Great shot. He's Why, going thank you. Down. Go check out oh, the trophy. Did he? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go check out our trophy. That's right. But he's down right here. Just drilled him with the next shot. Right in the neck bone right there. But 
this thing is definitely a giant. So let's go ahead and pick him up and see what he ended up scoring. But what a beautiful am animal. So we got a score of 440. Holy cow, that is a giant, a giant caribou right there. So let's go ahead and jump on back to our lodge. I can call it a lodge, I believe. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll call it a lodge. So we're going to go ahead and jump back to the lodge and possibly see if we can go ahead and go after the moose for our next trophy hunt. Way to go. You handled yourself like a pro out there. Well, he learned from the best. Congratulations. Those snowplow antlers are going to look great hanging on your wall. All right, we're one trophy hunt away from going into the southwest region of this game. So let's go ahead and probably see what equipment we are going to need to go ahead and do our next pro hunt. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we need a 30 odd six semi-auto and a moose call. And I believe we have enough money to go ahead and buy the 30 odd six. So let's go ahead and check it out and see. But I know we have the moose call, so we don't have to buy that. And yep, we got enough money for the 30 odd six. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase that. Throw on our six time zoom scope, grab our moose call, and we are gonna jump right into this hunt right here. Uh, I can't afford any of the better bullets, but I think the soft point bullets will take him down without a problem. So let's just go ahead and keep the soft point bullets and jump right over to the moose hunt. We're going after radar. So don't have to set a time or anything. So let's go ahead and fire it's up the hunt. It's a beautiful day for a moose hunt. This morning, I cut the trail of a monster old bull that's headed out into the bog just up the way a bit. If my hunch is right, this is the one that we call radar. We call him radar because of his keen sense of hearing. Moose antlers actually help focus sound. They bring the sound to the bull's ears. Stomping around in brush and water makes noise, so you'll have to watch your step. You've got a breeze that's blowing from all over the place today. So keep your eye on the wind gauge and make sure you stay downwind of this bull. All right, we loaded in and wow, this is an old school 30 odd six. This is pretty neat looking, but let's go ahead and Careful. see. The wind's changing. Adjust so you're still downwind of them. Thank you for rudely interrupting me, Jim Shockey. But anyway, so the wind is blowing started off blowing from directly behind us so we're down in this swampy cove area so kinda tells me that it's hilly around us and if the wind is blowing from behind us it's naturally gonna move kinda left so it's gonna kinda spiral I'm assuming the and there he is Are you still downwind of them? yep so as long as we stay on this side we definitely should be downwind of this moose right here just because it started off blowing at si six o'clock if you're looking at a clock it started off blowing six o'clock right behind us I predict it's gonna slowly move kinda towards twelve o'clock and it'll be facing right at them but we're not gonna let it get that uh, that far along in this hunt because we have a 30 odd six why not use it at long range so I definitely think we're gonna probably end up taking a shot sooner rather Watch than it. later the wind's changing. yep see the wind just moved again so it is doing what we're predicting so I'm thinking let's get up on a high advantage point right here and see if we can't take him out so he's alerted right now I think right now we're gonna take him out we got somewhat we can make him out enough to take a shot so let's go ahead and hold our breath and take a shot we'll go for it alright just shot here we go come on give me a lung Oh yes, we got we got a long, right, right long. Yes, we just drilled this this one. Oh, we even got a double long. Wow, that thirty odd six punctured deep. Wow. Not bad. He won't go far. There goes a pheasant flying right across in front of us. But there he goes, right there. Oh, he's gonna go down right there. Oh my, he's down right there. That is awesome, you guys. Wow. Look how tall this brush is. That just goes to show you how big of a moose that this actually is and how big these animals actually are. So the wind is still kind of moving how we predicted it. So that's always 
great observation to make because we are down in a nice cove area a lot of a lot of wetland around and everything else so it's the wind is going to kind of spiral in a sense so let's go ahead and pick up this blood trail and track down this big moose but i don't think we gotta track them too far because we watched them go down but it's always good to you know just double check bright pink blood right there and because they always could jump up and run away i've had them do it to me in real life but that's a story for another day so here he is this is a giant moose so let's go ahead and pick him up and man this was an awesome trophy hunt he scores 330 and he's a 15 by 15 that is awesome so let's go ahead and confirm this kill and I believe we should unlock the next region if I'm not mistaken so let's go ahead and watch that and see what that's all gonna be about nicely done you've come a long way since we started a master hunter needs patience skill and steady nerves it looks like you've got all three I just hope you've got a wall at home big enough to hang that monster rack all right, we're back at the lodge, and we can officially unlock the Southwest region. So let's go ahead and watch the intro for the Southwest region to see what we're up against. Welcome to the wild Southwest, friend. I hope you pack some sunscreen and a high-powered scope, because you're going to need them both out here. These southwestern plains are hot and dry. Trees and vegetation are sparse in most places. Food and water are scarce, so the game tends to gather in places where they can find one or both. The flat terrain and lack of cover means the animals are easier to spot. On the other hand, it's just as easy for them to spot you. This leg of the tour will put your long-range marksmanship to the test. Remember to keep your eye on the wind gauge. Out here, the breezes blow hot and wild. You'll need to watch for changes in the weather and adapt your plan to shifting conditions. All right, definitely excited for this region. It looks like we got some pronghorn and some monster mule deer bucks that we're gonna go ahead and be going after. So we'll go ahead and we'll save these hunts for another day. And it kind of looks like we got all the weapons that we kind of need. So two pro hunts, so we need the seven millimeter. So we don't have that yet, but we do have the scope requirement, but like I said, we need the experience, so let's go. We'll go ahead and we'll save. Oh, we need to upgrade our binoculars, even though we don't use them too much. But we'll go ahead and we will save the Southwest region for another day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit change up of gameplay. I definitely still am gonna be putting out some content on this. I'm loving this game still. But until next time, we'll see you guys out there.